Sorry, I just drank a bunch of Mountain Dew Code Red. <laughs> Shut up. Are we going back there? Hello there, I'm Eric Goldman, managing editor of Fandom. This is Guy Laura representing the Wikis. I'm here with some of the cast of Ghosts. Yep. They're very subdued. We're gonna try to see what we can get out of them. Guys, uh, you just did your panel here. You know, there are 10 million shows on the air right now. Mm -hmm. It's very hard to get noticed. How does it feel after, you know, you work to get on a show, the show gets on the air, and it is well received as yours is? I'll speak for myself. I've done like 13 failed pilots, and then Ghosts happened, and and then we just walked into a hall with 4,000 plus people who were all there to support us and show us love. So the gratitude is at a thousand. It's so cool, such great questions. It's not lost on us how special it is that we've uh, touched people in this way. Have you ever like hosted a dinner party and it was your first time cooking and you <laughs> downloaded a recipe off the internet and you'd never done it before and it was a really complicated casserole. We'll call it complicated casserole. Sure, sure. And you did it and you weren't sure and 25 people came over, really close family members, and the casserole was a hit. Hey man, Devin's really I don't hungry. Know that feeling. Dev's really but I want to know feels it. like. I'm pretty sure everyone can relate to that. I think Dev needs. <laughs> it's a relatable Dev metaphor. Needs, Dev needs dinner. That's what this means right now. The the idea of, of first of all getting a show as an actor. I've been unemployed for basically 18 years prior to this thing, <laughs> and uh, I've seen a lot of shows come by, and and so to to. to to get a show like this and then to um, have that show actually make it to air yeah. and then have that show make it to air with people who you like, who you love. And we genuinely like going to work is an exciting thing. Even if it's not exciting, it's exciting once you get there and see the people you work with. Mm -hmm. And then the fact that the show is something that people like. Yeah. I mean, it's this is like uh, an actor's dream come true. And they true. really did seem to love it out of yeah. the gate, which we're so yeah. excited about. And the fans have been so wonderful. All the fan art that's been generated has been Mind-boggling. Oh, yeah. I think we had some people to win over with how beloved the mm -hmm. BBC version was, and we all love it too. But, mm -hmm. but I think, um, yeah, I think we've proven our metal, and and we're delighted for the fans that we have. So we know we can't uh, reveal season two spoilers, but would you like for Jay to be able to speak to ghosts? You know what? Everybody asks me for my opinion, but let's go to the ghosts. <laughs> 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 I mean, I of would course. not. Well, I already see Jay. If, if I were playing Jay, is this the question? No. no would I... you, as Sasapis, want to be able to talk to me? I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> that so... was Sasapis' answer. Okay? I think the only That's person. The, I think the only. Give me both. Not like you need me. Let me double my. Let me double my. I want to come in and real. Two mics at once. I think the only person that really cares is this guy He's right Pete. here. Pete would care. Come on, yeah. you gotta be real. Because Pete, Pete and Jay have like have like a friendship as yep. much as they can oh, without yeah. like we have a secret handshake. So like can it, we see it that would, right now? Yeah, is you that, ready? Yeah. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> that was what we came up with. It just said they, they share their secret handshake in the so script, good. and we were like, so what were we gonna do? What are we gonna I do? Think I and we that's what we came stairs. up with: a shotgun <laughs> kiss. Yep. Um, but yeah, they're they're definitely first of all like Utkarsh is such a hilarious actor, and I think we all kind of crave more moments to play with him. So yeah, of course it would be like a delight for for Jay to be able to see the ghosts. And the cool thing about the end of season one is it might happen. Might happen. Mm -hmm. I feel like it's um uh, it's a mixed bag for Sam. Like I think that it would be obviously wonderful to have. Her husband on the same page as her finally, but she's very lucky in the at the moment there's a lot of power in being the conduit between them and um, she's definitely used that to her advantage several times so I think uh, it might it, it might rule out a few of the advantageous um, situations Sam finds herself in. <laughs> yeah I would say just and also just like I can speak for all of us here. Uh, us as actors, we just want to do more direct scenes with Utkarsh. <laughs> That's, that would be the most selfish reason is yeah. to have it. And, and um, yeah, so I'm hoping that it gets to happen mm -hmm. one day. Yeah, I think Flower would definitely love to meet Jay and figure out who this man is that's in the house, because I think she doesn't know who he is. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> she'd yeah. love to meet him for the first time. <laughs> well, let me follow up on that, because Flower, she led a really rich life, it seems. Thank uh, you. She, kept, she did a lot with her limited years. She it, sure did. Is that fun for you to kind of find out all these little pieces of, oh, then she did this, then she did that? Absolutely. I feel kind of like Flower's this wild card where really anything is possible possible. 
um, you know, if she said, oh, I lived on a boat for five years and uh, was a fisherwoman or something, you'd believe it, you know? Um, and it's just really, it's really cool to get to find out all these things as the episodes go along. And there will be a little bit more fun surprises in season two. Hmm. Danielle, the subplot of uh, you know, Alberta thinking she's been murdered, and now it turns out that she's probably correct. And they mentioned that we're going to get little, little uh, more inf information there, some suspects maybe. Yeah. Is that cool for you? This is obviously a fun comedy, but there's this like murder mystery element that you get to be at the center of. Honestly, I absolutely love it. I feel like the ghosts have been gaslighting Alberta since the 1920s. <laughs> and especially Kenny's like, you died of a heart attack. She's like, no, I was murdered! Uh, which I love. Um, and as an actor, it just feels really good to be able to spread my wings and figure out the murder mystery along with the rest of the cast. So I'm excited for what's to come. I'm excited for what's to come with Alberta and Pete. Uh, they're very much an odd couple. And Nancy uh, from yeah. The Cholera Ghost. And, and we get to see those gorgeous looks in the yes, flashbacks. Yes, exactly. And I get to sing a little bit, which I'm not a singer, so. Yes, you yes, are. Yes, he is. <laughs> so Take I started, it away. I started, sing, I started singing lessons for this show, so it's like nice to kind of put something into practice and hopefully everybody likes it too. A really fun dynamic on the show, I think, is you know, for Rebecca and Brandon, your characters, and uh, you know, there seem like they're kindred spirits, no pun intended, but maybe pun intended. Um, what do you think it is that sort of bonds these two? Uh, oh, that's a, I think they, it's their status, right? Mm -hmm. I feel like they just think of themselves as like the heads of the household. <laughs> like you're literally the heads of the house, and I'm like this politician, yeah. failed politician. Mm -hmm. So I think anytime you get two people like that together, I could imagine there being many scenes where they're like, the rest of these people are idiots. Yeah. <laughs> you know? But we're, we're, like, we're, we're, the, the, we're the biggest buffoons of the <laughs> group. <laughs> yeah. And then I think for, and then uh, the rest of it is, you know, 90% of the time when we're not shooting, I'm over at Rebecca's house and in Montreal, yeah. and we're having a glass of wine and we're talking. And so we get to kind of bring that onto screen, which is really yeah. cool. We have a similar ridiculous sensibility. Yes. 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 Devin, your character is the, the elder statesman, really. From the 50s. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, the 50s. The 1150s. 1009, <laughs> yeah, I think, is uh, the kickoff right. date. Yeah. Is that kind of funny for you to take a step back and be like, oh, wow, this guy's like seen the most. Uh, he's seen the most history. We were just talking about it on the way over here. Uh, he, he would have lost his, can I say the, the S word? Sure. He would have lost his <laughs> for like 500 years, Whoa. man. Whoa. I mean, can we edit it out? No, like, dude. <laughs> Dude was hanging out by himself, with himself, alone, in the woods, like, losing his mind, going full castaway mode, like, he did have a friend who was a squirrel. He ate him, okay? So it's like, which we could all relate to. I think at the end of the day, a lot of people will go, hey, you know what? I've, at some point, we'll all eat our best friend. And that's something that most humans get, they get it. And that's, I think that's why people like Thor. It's just like the casserole story. Is exactly yes. <laughs> Asher, you know, your character, it's a, it's a tricky one sometimes to be like the, the lovable a-hole, but you know, <laughs> he definitely uh, has uh, accomplished that. But do you like sort of seeing how far they can push it one way or the other to see these two sides of him? Yeah, I think that the, the, the BBC conceit of having the character who is most likely to objectify you, having him completely objectified by the fact that he's half naked, is, is a, it is, it's a kind of a testament to see how far can you push the boundaries. And I do think that we have found the ability, we, we have the we ability to the cross line. the line yeah. and, and we get pulled back. But yeah, it's fun to figure out like, okay, so what's the, um, especially as a ghost, because you kind of have uh, access to people that everything we're doing is spying on people. Just by our sheer presence in a room, we're spying on people. It's all the way risen. Yes. So there are, there's a, there's a fine line that you have to kind of uh, walk and, and, and uh, anticipate how an audience is gonna respond. Mm -hmm. Ghosts can walk through walls and they can walk through people. Uh, why does it hurt ghosts to walk through living things? Because VFX is really expensive. <laughs> sure, <laughs> sure the budget it's down. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. I think it's something about like, organic material passing through us, yeah. you know what I mean? Like inanimate things. It's the plasma. <laughs> it's the plasma. Yeah. The science of it, you know, if we go into that, you know, E equals M, C, whatever, so, yeah. Yeah, this guy knows a ton about biology. Yeah, yeah. E equals yeah. MC squared. Keep going. <laughs> the mitochondria. Yeah, that's the mitochondria mixed with the- The animal. mighty mitochondria. <laughs> <laughs> you can tell we're pretty delirious. It's been a long day. Oh. Yeah, I, well, I think, um, okay, so now I'm going to get uh, scientific for okay. a second. Yeah. Um, you know, a ghost is energy. 
and energy has left the actual <laughs> vessel mm -hmm. of the go. human. Yeah. And so anytime energy, which is what we all are, is sort of um, disrupted by any type of motion, um, like specifically something that maybe has a little bit more matter to it, um, I could imagine that dispersal of all those particles um, is, is painful. So that is my... <laughs> Very <laughs> scientific. That yes. is my... Like Wednesday, 6 p.m. Yes, exactly. Yeah. Wednesday, 6 p.m. And also, we do have a pop quiz this week, so <laughs> make sure you're studying. Well done. Uh, you had an amazing episode last season involving some possession. Mm. Uh, yes. And I know that that's like sort of a unique ability, but I, I know I'd like to see Jay possessed by all sorts of characters. <laughs> <laughs> Is that something that you would uh, relish or? Yeah, I, w I would love to do it. You know, the great thing about this ensemble from top to bottom is every actor has a strong point of view of their character. They've created really iconic roles. And for any impressionist or impersonator, you have to have great source material. And every one of these guys would be a dream to play. And I think so much fun for the audience. And I don't know if I'll be the one who gets possessed this season, but I'm pretty sure we're going to revisit that um, story, what do you call it, device mm -hmm. in season two, mm -hmm. much to the joy of the audience. So you'll see. But if I could play anyone again, I would do it. He, yes. he does impersonations of us on set. Oh. Like, and he nails all of us. Like, he's incredibly good at impersonations. Thank you. Lastly, I'm gonna end on a fan question uh, because we had a fan asking about uh, the costumes on the show and the fact that, except for you, Rose, uh, you know, that you guys are in the same costumes all the time. Um, I have to say, that crushed velvet, it is fabulous. It is hot in July and August. Um, but I love, the favorite part of my wardrobe is my little bang wig. Because, oh, yeah, listen, yeah. if I got a pimple or anything, it just covers it right down. It's like, it's like the, my favorite part ever in the world. Yeah, and my costume is horribly, horribly uncomfortable, but so beautiful and like does so much to inform my character that I wouldn't trade it for the world. And then we all desperately look forward to the little flashbacks that come in and out. Yeah. I have not yeah. had one yet. There's a beautiful, beautiful one with Danielle's character mm -hmm. in which you see her, we, we can, that's not a major spoiler, right? We can say that she gets her, her moment singing in a club mm -hmm. in the 20s and it's just so stunningly mm -hmm. uh, costumed and styled. And um, yeah, so we, we look forward to those moments where we get to have flashbacks costumes as well. And we want to see people dressed up in these costumes. Yeah. These costumes are amazing. We've seen a few yeah. so far, but that is just like such a highlight when yeah. you get to see people's takes. It's a good them. group costume thing. Right? Yeah. yeah, Rose cosplayed as me last year for Halloween oh, as yes, Hedy, yes. which was so fun and such a wonderful honor. I've come to really like the pantless thing. Um, not not in the sense that it's comfortable, it's not. Sure. But in the sense that it's like, you know, it, it wakes you up and, and you're, you're there. <laughs> it wakes, you know, it's hard it to wakes sleep me up. Too. Work. It yeah. wakes us all up. It wakes us all up. He and Cher tent together. Right. He comes in yeah. with like the pants off and he rips them right off. Yeah. Good morning. That's right. Yeah, That's, right. Exactly. That's right. Thank you so much. Guys, thank you so much for being here with us. Yes. Go season two drops September 29th on CBS and Paramount Plus. <laughs> You're gonna wanna watch yes. it. Yes! Tune in! Tune in! I, I like this. I don't even have to do Eric, my job. Eric, Lara, <laughs> Fandom, you see it right here. We're done! <laughs> 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 <laughs>